Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? What the what the what the what the what the I don't know. Yes. All right, guys. What's up, everybody? Uh, we just got done singing the IMAX screen. Yeah. If you didn't guess it by the song, guys, we are reviewing uh, Auto Theater Reaction first film uh, of the summer to kick off the summer of films and everything. Yeah. Bad boys, ride or die, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right to it. Um, and yeah, for Lex, when did you? I know we seen we seen all the past films and yeah. everything this is crazy because this is like continuing years later yeah, after the French I mean they would keep yeah going. yeah you wouldn't have thought that or anything like that but what did you think of this you film better have liked this movie. <laughs> I go say. first I go first <laughs> what'd uh, you what'd you think no like the, the movie I actually had a lot of fun I yeah I'm, I hadn't recently seen the last ones but I remember I've seen them all yeah um it's not my favorite one, but I think they course corrected a little bit. Uh, last movie, I know we were talking off camera, like mm. they definitely went like over the top. And On the last not, one, yeah. Not a lot of it was hitting this time. This time, I feel like while there was some jokes here and there that like I felt like they were letting them live a little bit too long. Mm. All around, though, I still think everyone brought their A game, and they they brought back some of the characters that I actually really enjoyed. Yeah, they expanded on them a little bit. Uh, the crowd was having a great time. Uh, so I think you know, and and the action actually was filmed very very yeah. dynamic. It was very interesting. Like some of the shots that they did, they, yeah. they pretty much did all like the different shots that you could do in a movie. But I didn't yeah. mind that they kind of put that all in there. They kind of let yeah. each of them have their day uh, inside of the sequences. Yeah. You know, here's the here's the thing. Uh, what, when we talk about the you know the last movie was like a novella. It was garbage CGI. It was very very just filtered. Uh, that's and, bad and, boys and, for and life. Yeah, but yeah, 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 bad boys for the, the last, last one. one. And uh, this one, it's like they learned all their mistakes. They put it all in in this movie, and they put 110 percent into this. And I really enjoyed Will Smith in here. Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. Uh, you know, their chemistry together has always been great and everything. Yep. And their jokes and this thing too. Martin Lawrence jokes, and I know I'm picky on comedy. Uh, you know yeah. I am. He was hitting me with me with the one-liners, man. Oh my yeah. God, he was hitting Once me with the one-liners. That, there was a few of yeah. them that lived a little too long for me, but yeah. he was doing his thing. Like there they, was, there was also this one action sequence where you're playing Call of Duty in a first-person shoot, and it was so beautifully done. I, th I thought that was great. Those shots and everything was just visually way better than the last one. And I gotta yeah. say though, like the act, the, the action was way more believable in yeah. if the guys they were in they their because they, they are in their fifties. They toned it down, yeah. but they, they did it right. If yeah, it yeah. It wasn't overboard. It wasn't and, like and oh, let me movie, dodge a bullet. Oh, I won't spoil <laughs> anything, but yeah. this movie does have like one of the biggest redemption arcs. Like, oh, yeah, it the does. The crowd was going nuts yeah. for it. And I think fans of the franchise are really good. Character like, development, they, huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but so Ted, what, spoil it. Yeah, like, Ted with Countdown City Geekcast, what's going on, buddy? What do you think of this movie? Long time listener and uh, uh, contributor to Alamo City Movie Talk. Uh, I just want to say that this is probably the most entertaining movie of the franchise. Oh wow. I know there's a High lot of there's, there's there's a lot of, you know, loyalists that are probably going to say nothing's as good as a 90s version and all that. Yeah. But you know, 90s movies were dramatic, over the top. This one was rugged. This one was raw. This one was visceral. Yeah. They did things in this movie you are not going to expect. Yeah. yeah. They take characters to some places. They put them in certain mindsets yeah. that you're thinking like, what am I watching? How could they have done this? They took some risks. Yeah. And all the risks they took paid off. I don't want to spoil anything, of course. The action is there. It's not video game. Not like... It, now what you said. I think some movies can get too comic booky. Yeah. We saw movies like um, uh, Ungentlemanly Warfare. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like, what are we watching here? It's like guys in a cartoon just with guns and like nobody. There's no stakes. Everybody's cool and all that. There's it takes the realness out of it. They didn't do that with this one. There's real stakes, there's real emotion, yeah. and you talked about the humor. The humor is top-notch from start to finish. I think the dynamic between Will and Martin is probably my favorite yeah, in this yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah. As long I would, as I would argue, strong. though, that first statement you said, I believe the second one is the best one. Out of the, no, I, said, out of, yeah, I yeah. said most entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Like, the yeah. second one yeah. is probably my favorite, but yeah. Yeah. this one just... 
I was not bored at any single second. That's awesome. Of yeah. this movie. No, I agree. Yeah, and then my girl Vanessa Hudgens was in there too. I yeah. mean, dude, she was killing it. I love, it. I love it. She was, she was really like rocking it here, and I was just like, you know what? It's a way better too, because like you get to see the team back together. Not everyone came back together in this movie, but we did see the ma- the main team of the last movie that came out. But yeah, I'm excited to see what people are gonna go check this out. This yeah. is a way to start a summer of movies. This is yep. the way to do it. And Sony, what is going on, guys? You guys are the ones that put out Madam Web. You guys are what is going on? This is the same entertainment industry that's putting out this Sony pictures, and I'm just like, what is going on here? Hopefully, Venom's way better. Running the show. <laughs> yeah, please. I don't know, yeah. man. Now we need a Will Smith Madam Web. <laughs> that's what we need. Hey, honestly, honestly, if you put honestly, that probably would have been better than what we got with with the, with the last movie. But yeah, we'll leave it at that, guys. All right, guys. What? Any final thoughts, Lex? Anything? No, no, no. Just uh, I'm getting ready for the check summer, it out. and so yeah. check it out in theaters. Look great in IMAX. Like oh yeah, said, action sequences killer fun cameos it's a fun time all around the yep. crowd absolutely loved it yeah and then thanks today for being on here man with the countdown cd geek cast brother keeping us appreciate honest it, man. appreciate yeah. it man yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. follow yeah like share like, subscribe, subscribe guys have a good one check you later see you at the movies <laughs>